Hey everyone, so in today's video we're going to be going over vector addition and subtraction and specifically we're going to be going over how to calculate the sum and difference of two vectors as well as going over how to graphically represent vector addition and subtraction. So if this is something you struggle with, keep watching. So let's say we had three vectors, vector u being equal to 3, 1, vector v being equal to negative 1, 2, and then vector w being equal to the sum of vectors u and v. Now to compute vector w, what we would do is add the like components of vectors u and v. So to do this, we would do 3 plus negative 1, and then 1 plus 2, and that would give us an output of 2, 3. And this is essentially how we calculate the sum of two vectors. But let's go over how we would graphically represent this. So let's say vectors u, v, and w were randomly dispersed on a graph, and we had to show that vector w is the sum of vectors u and v. Now there are actually two ways that we can show this, and the first way is called triangle law. And essentially with triangle law, what we're going to do is we're going to migrate vector v to where its starting point is at the end tip of vector u, and then we're going to migrate vector w to where its starting point is the same as vector u. And as you see, when we migrate vector w, it not only has the same starting point as vector u, but it also has the same terminal point as vector v. And, then, and when this happens, we can conclude that vector w is the sum of vectors u and v. And this is known as our triangle law. And we essentially call this triangle law because when we arrange the vectors in this way, it forms a triangle. Now there's actually another way that we can show this with triangle law. And what we would do is this time migrate vector u to where its starting point is at the end tip of vector v. And then we would migrate vector w to where its starting point is the same as vector v. And as you see, once again, when the vectors are arranged in this way, where w has the same starting point as vector v and the same terminal point as vector u, this shows that vector w is the sum of the two vectors. And in this case, it's basically saying that vector vector w is the sum of vectors v and u, but remember that by commutative property, v plus u is equal to u plus v. So these are essentially two ways that we can show that vector w is the sum of vectors u and v using triangle law. Now another way that we can show this is with parallelogram law. And with parallelogram law, essentially what we're going to do is migrate all three vectors to have the same starting point. And we'll just say the starting point is going to be at the origin. And essentially, when we arrange the vectors in this way, we can also say that vector w is the sum of vectors u and v. But you're probably wondering how so. So to understand how this is, what we're going to do is actually take a copy of vector v and migrate that copy to where its starting point is at the end tip of vector u. And then we're also going to take a copy of vector u and migrate that copy to where its starting point is at the end tip of vector v. And as you see, when we do this, this forms a parallelogram, hence why it's called parallelogram law. But what's important to notice is each half of the parallelogram. If you notice the first half of the parallelogram, it looks very familiar. It looks like our triangle law, right? And when we know that when the vectors are arranged in this way, we can say that vector w is the sum of vectors u and v. And we can say the same thing for the other half of the parallelogram. The arrangement is a little different where it says vector w is the sum of vectors v plus u, but we know that once again v plus u is equal to u plus v. And this is why we can arrange the vectors in this way and conclude that vector w is the sum of vectors u and v. So those are basically the two ways that we would graphically represent that one vector is the sum of two other vectors. But now let's transition to how vector subtraction works. So let's say we have the same three vectors where vector u is equal to 3, 1, vector v is equal to negative 1, 2. However, this time vector w is going to be equal to the difference between vectors u and v. So to compute what vector w is, once again, what we're going to do is combine the like components of vectors u and v. So to do this, we would do 3 minus negative 1 and then 1 minus 2. And that would give us an output of 4 negative 1. Now another way that we can compute vector w is to actually take vector u and add it to the opposite of vector v. So essentially, we would be computing u plus negative v. So to figure out what negative v is, we would essentially multiply vector v by a scalar of negative 1. And when we do that, that would give us 1 negative 2. 
and then we would take vector u and add it to opposite of v which would be 3 plus 1 and then 1 plus a negative 2 which would also give us an output of 4 negative 1. And that is essentially how we would calculate the difference between two vectors. But now let's go over how we would graphically represent this. So let's say we're given the same scenario where vectors u, v, and w are randomly dispersed on a graph. However, this time we have to show that vector w is the difference between vectors u and v. So similarly to vector addition, we can show this using both triangle law and parallelogram law. So let's start with how to show this using triangle law. So remember that u minus v is the same thing as u plus negative v. So taking this idea, right, um, what we want to do is find what negative v is. So to find negative v, it's essentially going to be vector v, but it's going to point in the opposite direction as vector v. So rather than be having the end tip point in the upper left direction, it's going to point in the downward right direction. And that's going to be what negative v is. So what, we were, what we're going to do is we're going to migrate negative v to where its starting point is at the end tip of vector u. And then we're going to migrate vector w to where its starting point is the same as vector u. And basically this is saying that u plus naive v is going to give us w, which would be u plus naive v, which is u minus v, which shows that w is the difference between u vectors u and v because as you see, w has the same starting point as vector u and the same terminal point as negative v. So this shows that w is indeed the difference between vectors u and v. So another way that we can show this using triangle law is to this time what we're going to do is migrate vector w to where its starting point is at the end tip of vector v. And then what we're going to do is we're going to migrate vector u to where its starting point is at the same as vector v. And as you see, when we arrange the vectors in this way, basically it's saying that v plus w is going to give us u. Which is true because w is equal to u minus v. So if we did v plus u minus v, the v's will cancel out and it will leave us with just vector u. And as you see, vector u has the same starting point as vector v and the same terminal point as w. So this shows that w is the difference between vectors u and v. So those are two ways to show that w is the difference between vectors u and v using triangle law. But let's go over how to show this with parallelogram law. So to show this with parallelogram law, essentially what we're going to do is we're going to use the first way that we showed this using triangle law. And all we're going to do is rearrange the vectors where they all have the same starting point. And this would be another way to show that vector w is the sum of vectors u and i of v, which is also the difference of vectors u and v. Now, and remember, if we were to fill this out to complete a parallelogram, remember that each half of the parallelogram forms our little triangle law, right? And remember, based off triangle law, we know that when the vectors are arranged like that, it shows that vector w is going to be the sum of those two vectors. So this is just one way to show it using parallelogram law. And the other way that we can show this with parallelogram law is to use the second way that we showed it with the triangle law. So remember, we showed that v plus u minus v would give us u, right? So what we would do is just rearrange all three vectors to have the same starting point. And this would be another way to show that vector w is the difference between vectors u and v. And once again, if we were to complete this parallelogram, as you see, each half of the parallelogram forms our triangle law, which shows that when um, the diagonal is going to be the sum of those two vectors on each half of the parallelogram. So those are the ways that we can represent that w is the difference between vectors u and v using both triangle law and parallelogram law. But that pretty much wraps up this video guys. Um, that is how we would calculate the sum and difference between two vectors and as well as how we would graphically represent the two. So I hope you found this video helpful guys and take care.